What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video guys, we are going to tour some foreclosures here in Central Florida. As most of you guys know, I love to keep you guys updated with what is going on and off the market here in this area. And guys, we have seen a really good increase in foreclosure activity over the past couple months. And I would expect that trend to continue on into the future. So if you are somebody who is interested in bank owned properties, make sure you're patient because I know there'll be a lot more opportunity for you you here in the near future and just like always guys these homes will need work so you can have that expectation if you are deciding to get into purchasing a bank owned home so with that being said let's jump right into today's video all right guys so this house is located in lake mary florida in the willow brook village subdivision it's a really really nice gated community um, as you can see from the street view um, really, really nice houses. This one actually is a three bedroom. It has two full, then it also has one half bath. Um, a nice long driveway. It is obviously a foreclosure. Um, it has 2,079 square feet of interior space. It was built in 1990, so it is 32 years old. Um, as you'll see when we get in there, guys, it's going to need definitely some upgrading. I don't think it's probably been updated since it was built um, and it also it's on a 0 0.18 acre lot it has a monthly hoa of 243 dollars a month and uh, that covers the gated community and also it is a golf course community as well so they do have amenities to go with it so Anyways, guys, this property is currently on the market for $463,000. So let's go ahead, check it out, and see if it is worth it. So once we get in, guys, it does have a pretty open floor plan for the most part. Um, to the left-hand side, you have the stairs that lead up to the second level, and then just right past that area will be the half bath. So, um, we have the living room space just directly in front, dining room space just right here to my right hand side. So we'll just actually just go forward and um, the primary suite is actually right here on the first level. So we'll go ahead and check that out. I haven't even walked this property. I just turned my camera on when I got here, went in. So everything that I see here is also uh, brand new to me as well. I do like the windows though, nice big windows. Then obviously you have a pond view, which I'll show you more of that as we move forward in this tour. So overall, the bedroom sizes are nice. Obviously you need new carpet, new interior paint, um, just right off the bat, very obvious. So it looks like we actually have like a storage area right here, because this is underneath the stairs. And then to the right hand side, we'll find the, oh, this is a good size closet. Um, this will be the uh, closet space and then we'll go right into the bathroom where you have the double sinks, stand up shower and you have your soaker tub. I do like these windows right here too, as well just because it brings in a lot of natural light and then through this door just right here guys you'll find the toilet. So as we uh, continue the tour we'll just go ahead and go across and we'll find the kitchen space. And then I think it has also a second living room space as well. Oh, wow. So it looks like it has a, yeah, this looks like a wood burning fireplace. You don't see that very much in any of the newer Florida homes really ever. So you have some um, counter and uh, cabinet space there. And then obviously you can, the fireplace is um, full, is all the way through. So you can see it on that side as well. Um, a little bit more storage space right there. I believe that's probably where your entertainment system would go. Um, I'd probably take all that out, but I do love all the big windows. And um, directly behind, we'll find the kitchen space. It looks very, very small, so I would just say I probably have to redo that, um, especially for today's standards. People like you know a lot more bigger kitchens. This seems very, very, very tight, um, but obviously. You have everything you need except for your oven and your refrigerator. But if you're gonna buy a house like this, I'm sure you're gonna be prepared to do some major work. So uh, just right in front will be the breakfast nook. Um, as we just go through this door, you have the washer and dryer hookup area. And then through, 
through that we'll find the two car garage um, not too much light going on right now in that area guys because the power is off so we aren't able to see some of those areas but let's go out to the backyard real quick well i don't really consider this much of a backyard but for somebody who's going to be looking for a property like this you most likely don't want too much yard maintenance so got a little bit and then obviously you have a beautiful view of the pond so let's go ahead get back in the house undercover space i believe this is your property as well yes this is so the property line goes all the way right there in that area and uh comes all the way around to the other side so anyways guys i believe that will do it for the first level so let's go ahead go upstairs and uh see what's going on up there so uh, like i said when we came in we have the half bath just right here and uh we'll just go ahead and go upstairs obviously it needs new carpet take all the carpet out put new flooring and uh paint looks like this is the loft space good size space and then you have a closet maybe closet slash storage area and uh, i do like the open railing so i think that's uh, great to keep it wide open and then if you notice like right there it may have had a roof issue because it looks like it was repaired from possibly a water some water damage or water intrusion um, so we have our next full bath this is our second full bath shower tub combo and uh, we have our second bedroom right here. Pretty good sized bedroom, but I'm not seeing the third bedroom. So I know I don't think I missed anything unless they converted this from a bedroom to, okay. So they must've converted this from a bedroom to a loft space because this is actually a closet. So. Huh, so it's more of like a two bedroom with a loft space. So very interesting. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this property in the comments below and uh, we'll see you at the next property. All right, guys, so we are at our next foreclosure in today's video. This is actually in the Quest Win Bay subdivision here over by Disney. It's only about 10, 15 minutes away from Disney. It's right off of Old Lake Wilson Road and then Highway 192. Um, this one actually features three bedrooms, three full baths. You'll see it needs quite a bit of work. It was built in 2006. It uh, has 1,187 square feet of interior space, has a monthly HOA of $266 a month, which covers the fully gated community. You have community pools, gyms, and then also a clubhouse that take care of the lawn care. And then also it covers cable and Wi-Fi, which is cool. But this property obviously like I said earlier, it's gonna need some work. It's been on the market for a good amount of time. Um, it's actually just recently had a $21,000 price reduction. It was currently listed for $309,000. It is now on the market for $288,000. So let's go ahead and take a quick look. It's a pretty small um, little townhome, but the reason why I actually wanted to show you guys this place is because the location is fantastic especially for somebody who's looking for a income property to do either short-term rental or even um, long-term rental whatever you're you really want to do um, this property would be conducive to that obviously you got to go ahead and change the flooring out paint um, i've also seen a couple um, signs of water damage um, on the ceiling which i'll show you guys here shortly uh, so here's a look at the first full bath obviously you want to just Go ahead and just redo this one fully got it put some updated um, features in this property um, and then to the right hand side is the staircase actually i'm sorry the left hand side is the staircase that will lead us up to the uh, second level then we have the living room space just to the left and then right bes behind that we'll find the kitchen so um, being that this property is under 1200 square feet everything is you know it's not very big at all but i do like the floor plan um, i've actually seen this property 
um, just the same model uh, layout and everything like that in this community that's been completely updated. These typically rent out in between 120 to about $185 a night. Uh, also just depending on you know time of the year and etc. So it could be a little bit more, a little bit less, just uh, depending on what time of the year it is. But like I said, the location is fantastic for somebody who is vacationing here in Orlando that wants to go to Disney and all the parks as um, it's really right next to everything. So that would be the real benefit of owning one of these properties. So anyways, um, let's go ahead, check out the upstairs layout. And uh, as we get to the top, we'll just go ahead and go to the right hand side, check out bedroom number two. Uh, just like I said earlier, uh, what I can see that we need to do in, in these bedrooms is just paint, um, take all the flooring out, the carpet's disgusting, and uh, go from there. Let me show you guys the closet space. Uh, just a standard size closet. And as we move forward, we'll find our next full bath. Just right here, shower tub combo. And um, we should have the washer and dryer area just right next to it. And those are included in the sale. I'm not sure if they work or not. Um, I don't have any access to the seller disclosure as uh, this is a bank owned property, so we don't know. But this is the third and final bedroom. And it does have an attached bath, as you guys can see. But I'm gonna show you the closet real quick before we get in there. And uh, there's a look at the closet. And we'll just have a pretty standard full bath, sink, vanity, shower tub combo. So anyways, guys, uh, that will be it for this tour. I think the real benefit of owning something like this is to possibly get it at a you know pretty significant discount. I think the price will most likely continue to go down. Um, but as you can see, you still have stuff right here. And then all on the top here, I don't know what happened there, but it looks like it was repaired from something. But um, like I said, the only real benefit that I can see is the location. So um, that will be all for this tour and uh, we'll see you at the next one. All right guys, so we are at our next property here in Castleberry, Florida. This property actually just hit the market not too long ago. It is on a corner lot, as you can see. It has a pretty nice sized backyard, but it is off of the main road. So I uh, just want to give you guys a quick tour of this property. It has a pretty nice long driveway. Uh, the roof actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. It is an older home. It was built in 1981 and it has 1,618 square feet of interior space. It has zero HOA. It's on a 0.37 acre lot and it has annual taxes of $3,256 a year. And guys, it is currently on the market for $349,000. So let's go ahead and take a look. Obviously this home is older and just like most of the homes here in this area that are bank owned properties, they will need a decent amount of work. So you got your living room and then you also have your dining room space just right past that. Um, the kitchen is right behind this wall, which we'll go ahead and show you guys here in a couple minutes. But to the right hand side, you have the two car garage. And uh, as we move forward, we'll just go ahead and show you guys the kitchen space you do have granite countertops stainless steel appliances um, microwave oven wood cabinets very small kitchen as you can see not anything really you know too much but you do have everything that you need to uh to live um, obviously it um you do have very uh low ceilings i think obviously back in the 80s things were weren't as high as they are now but you do have a second living space just right here with a fireplace just right there. And then also you have the uh, two um, doors right there that lead out to the backyard, which we'll get to here shortly. But since we are on the right hand side of the house, I'll just go ahead and show you guys the first two bedrooms as um, this property has three bedrooms and two full baths. So we'll go ahead and start here. As you can see, you do have some drywall issues. 
um, with the ceiling here, which is, you can see cracks here, and then also cracks uh, right over here as well. So I would say new flooring instantly, uh, new, uh, new interior paint, and, uh, and start from there. But uh, here's a look at the first full bath. I think this whole thing just needs to be redone, start all over again. It doesn't look, you know, horrible. It could look a lot worse, but if it was me, I would start all over. And then here is uh, bedroom number two. And overall, if we're just looking at the positives about this property, guys, we do have uh, there's another drywall issue, but the room sizes aren't bad at all. So it does have good room sizes. Obviously with the price at 349, I think that's a little bit aggressive, especially for the amount of work um, that uh, this property does need. So let's go ahead and go to the opposite side of the house, check out the primary suite, uh, which is just right here. So overall, pretty decent sized room. Um, you know, the closet sizes back in the 80s weren't like they are now. They're very, you know, small back then. So that's what you get here. But I also noticed that it looks like there may have been water damage um, repair done in the past. So you got all these like lines and stuff right here looking like there maybe was water damage at some point and then it was repaired those are usually what those those look like have some more little closet space here and then you have the attached bath which is just a shower tub combo so um, obviously just redo that take that out flooring is in pretty rough shape as you can see so i would uh obviously recommend replacing all that so it's gonna need a decent amount of work, I would say, um, but you know, the location is really what you're paying for. So let's go ahead and check out the backyard. Backyard is pretty nice. I mean, it's fully fenced. You are on the main road. I know some people don't like that, but some other people don't mind. So it's just all personal preference, as uh, most of you guys know, but uh, fully fenced backyard and uh, goes all the way to that corner right there so overall just another bank owned property that uh, is going to need some TLC but um, let me know down below what you guys think of this property the price and um, I'm very curious to know so hope you enjoyed this tour and that will be all all right guys that will be it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video